battle has just begun! Alright then. This is the Robonica's six six sauce six Swiss show and uh, I'm running on very little sleep. I spent a shameful amount of time playing Showdown. Um recently Underused has uh, uh, underwent a bit of a change. A lot of OU Pokemon are now underused. Um, I think Ferretris is underused. Donphan is underused. Starmie is underused. Um, I think I think B sure might be underused. No, he, he surely he must be OU still. Anyway, a whole mess of guys are underused, and it's a big, big pain in the ass. Oh, Sableye as well. I don't know why. I thought he was used a lot last month, but I guess he's underused now. So eventually I am going to try and abuse that in a new underused team, because I feel like mine hasn't really been doing it lately. But first... Here's some really dumb uh, monotype matches I had with High Track. So, he is going to be down here. I'm going to be over here. I've got Mono Poison. He's got Mono Dark. And I don't know what to lead with, so Weezing. <laughs> Ghost Specs Weezing. I'm going to get a para on his B Sharp, which is fantastic. I was going to go into his Teen Titan, his Tit Titan, and I'm. I don't... Yeah, go into Arbok, get that Intimidate off so I can take over half from a Stone Edge arbok piece of shit. I should probably include more serious face Pokemon, uh, but I just based this um, on a Poison team off of uh, the Poison types I had available to me in my Y version, so that's why they are who they are. But anyway, his, uh, his, his T-Titan is a clever bastard in his mix, so the coil strategy is just going to fail, but it's fine. More often than not, uh, this snake man is fodder. So, and, and more often than not, Weezing is fodder. Those guys are blasting off again, you could say. Um, one thing I have found out with the Mono Poison team is just use Venusaur and you'll always win. A thing I should probably change, I should probably try Nidoqueen with like Stealth Rock, and I should probably try uh, Gregalgy, because that would be pretty freaking cool. I do have Special Attack, Special Attacking Nasty Plot Crobat with the Lumberry, what you know about a doe, and he's got Hank Hill, uh, who is <laughs> a Sayabli. And I'm going to show him the Heat Wave, he forgot about it. So that's really cool. Uh, he could have bopped me with a Sucker Punch, but I guess he wanted to use Night Slash or something? I don't know. So Smelly Asshole is going to come out here, and one thing that Crobat does this match is he flinches that Smelly Asshole every time with a, th with a thrusting, th slashing motion. It sounds really unpleasant. But anyway, uh, so that was kind of a running joke. We played like 10 monotype matches. He won almost all of them because he had a better team than I did. But, uh, these are the two favorites uh, that I have. Right, I mostly just use this shitty mono poison team and then he would like trounce me with like a mono psychic team. Uh, or like a mono fairy team. He'd be like, oh, I'm surprised. Anyway, um, yeah, Gengar's gonna die just to get the burn on him. And now I go into Needle King with that life orb. I get the crit on Ice Beam. I am Sheer Force life orb, so I'm not sure if that mattered or not. So that's good. Yeah, that's that's this match. Uh, by the way, Hot Shock is 14 years old, which makes me feel like a huge pedophile because I'm like a thousand years old. Uh, it's also kind of sad because he's just as good at Pokemon as I am, and he's just 14 but you know what can you do anyway he's gonna he's gonna try a mono fire team he's over here i'm over here the moment i saw charizard i'm like good game there's no way i can win but i don't lose immediately uh and you know how crobat flinches everything uh for the rest of the night yeah <laughs> did that flinch matter absolutely 
<laughs> and I'm still in the still in it, and I can use Mega Venusaur, abuse Mega Venusaur to my liking, because uh, he's not weak to fire. That's pretty cool shit. So Arnold, his special defensive wish passing um, uh, Delphox, pretty cool idea. Uh, Venusaur can deal with it just fine though. Leech Seed and Synthesis all day. I believe I use all of my Synthesis PP in this match because, um, yeah. He's gonna try to wish though. I think he succeeds in wishing, which is kind of a... Whatever. I just... I know he's gonna switch out, so I'm gonna go for Leech Seed. And then that's a Choice Banded Infernape Flare Blitz. I take it like it's nothing, then use Synthesis and Rinse and Repeat. <laughs> Oh, Venusaur, you piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then he crits me, which I suppose he deserves because I completely dicked over his Charizard. Uh, although, to be fair, Charizard against my very frail mono poison team, it's not, <laughs> not gonna do a lot. So he's got his Metal Gear out. Um, this, is, this is not boding well for Venusaur. I can use. Leech Seed. That's cool. Now he's gonna send out old Smokies. He's got smoke and uh, I'm gonna go into Crobat as I block the Earth Power. Good for you, Crobat. Go, for, go for the nasty plot. Go for, and uh, I take a crit Lava Plume like a champ and I avoid the burn, which is great. And unfortunately, Crobat does not flinch the old Smokey. So I guess he doesn't flinch every time. But Arbok's gonna come out here. Go for the Gunk Shot. <laughs> I remember how this match ends now. <laughs> this match is the stupidest ending ever. So Arbok, I have max speed Jolly, so I'm just gonna Earthquake that Heatran. And that completely blew his mind, because I guess he didn't know uh, Arbok could even learn uh, Earthquake, which is fair enough. So I'm just gonna fodder uh, Venusaur and, you know, go into Arbok and just gunk shot everything pretty much. Or use coil um not use come shot use coil and this is this is the the funniest part i'm gonna go sucker punch as he goes for a trick i guess predicting my sucker punch but what he has effectively done is sealed his fate because i get to reselect my move after being uh tricked because i moved first before the trick and so <laughs> like he probably could have won if he used overheat instead of using trick because I don't I don't really think uh, Rotom would be one hit KO'd by uh, by a plus one sucker punch from a jolly Arbok so that is a hilarious match and now we're gonna go into UU which I was talking about in the beginning UU is just a big piece of shit right now it, it, it started out as a big piece of shit and then it got a little bit more stable and I was getting used to it and then, a couple of days ago, they just dropped down to a bunch of new, big, threatening guys that I can't deal with, and now it's a piece of shit again. Uh, like Sableye. For, for some reason, nobody uses Sableye in UU, even though he's UU, so I'm like, well, I'm gonna use Sableye in UU. Like, might as well. Um, and Hippo Down is also UU, and it's like, why even have underused, like, at all? That's, that's, I think that is the question of the day, because this shit is insane. So, oh, I should talk about his team a little bit. He obviously, very obviously, has a rain team. And Drizzle is banned and underused, as well as almost all of the Mega Stones, except for, like, Aerodactylite and Blastoiseite, and, like, Benetite, obviously. Uh, I think there's... I'm sure there are some other ones, but like the lesser, lesser, lesser used uh, Mega Pokemon are still allowed. I'm gonna make a big dumb move and it's, it's like, I, I did this all this night. I don't know if I was exhausted, cause I was exhausted, but it's like, I thought switching Florgus the Fairy into a dragon would be too predictable, but that doesn't even make sense. I should have just switched into Florgus. But anyway, uh, Amoongus is going to be a bulky piece of shit. It can also learn Rain Dance, which is bizarre, and he must have Damp Rock. So this Scarf Hydreigon, um, uh, he was one of my all-time favorites in uh, Black and White, and I'm using him again. 
and he has won me a few matches actually surprisingly so his uh, Jolteon is pretty clearly choiced so that allows me to get a free agility as he uh, just uses rain dance and stealth rocks and I just use agility again so I'm gonna be faster than his Jolteon now and I'm gonna be faster than his Kingdra I'm gonna be faster than everything he has and luckily the Zen headbutt connects and he's just gonna forfeit so Metagross you know how I said making an underused team with Metagross would be easy it kind of is um, yeah Metagross is nice weakness policy Metagross so that's gonna be that match and this is gonna be the final match in underused that I had a moment ago why am I even why do I even know why, I don't know his team is really not that great I don't even know why I'm recording this one Maybe it's because I'm delirious and I forgot how bad this match was. Uh, or maybe it's just because I really, really like showing off Metagross and I'm an asshole. So, because of clear body, Intimidate doesn't work on Metagross. So he goes for Sucker Punch, that just gives me uh, plus two attack. So I kill the hit on top and then I can live a Flamethrower from uh, Evire go for uh, agility and kill him and now I know he's going to use quick attack with that guy so I go into save life so I basically just dick him over with higher tier Pokemon which I guess kind of goes to prove a point of why Yu Yu is really really broken and kind of a big fucking mess right now because this this team I would totally see that as a proper underused team and then I have these guys these guys and they're like it's like, well, Florgis uh, is very comfortable and underused, I should say, but everybody else, like, I know Blastoise has been underused for the entirety, but Blastoise can hack it in OU, I know, I've been doing it, and, well, Hydrogon is kind of like, yeah, Hydrogon's days of OU are behind it entirely, so, I don't know, it's just... There's such an un imbalance and underused right now, and it really bugs me. So they should just make RU, and then I can play that. So, I don't know. I guess that's the point of this match, other than Metagross being cool and living attacks that he shouldn't have. But anyway, that's this is going to be my uh, showdown upload, and if, if you enjoyed it, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you later, YouTube.